Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 11 of Revelation chapter 19. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he who sat on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and wages war. His eyes are a flame of fire, and on his head are many crowns, and he has a name written on him, which no one knows except himself. He is clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God, and the armies which are in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword, so that with it he may strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron, and he treads the winepress of the fierce wrath of God, the Almighty. And on his robe and on his thigh he has a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried out with a loud voice, saying to all the birds that fly in mid-heaven, Come, assemble for the great feast of God, so that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of commanders, the flesh of mighty men, the flesh of horses and of those who sit on them, and the flesh of all people, both free and slaves, and small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies assembled to make war against him who sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was seized, and with him the false prophet, who performed the signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were thrown, alive, into the lake of fire, which burns with brimstone. And the rest were killed with the sword, which came from the mouth of him who sat on the horse, and all the birds were filled with their flesh." Continuing on to chapter 20. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding the key of the abyss and a great chain in his hand. And he took hold of the dragon, the serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he threw him into the abyss and shut it and sealed it over him so that he would not deceive the nations any longer until the thousand years were completed. After these things, he must be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was given to them. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony of Jesus and because of the word of God and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received the mark on their foreheads and on their hands. And they came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were completed. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is the one who has a part in the first resurrection. Over these, the second death has no power." but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with Him for a thousand years. The return of Jesus Christ is a vital part of God's redemptive plan for humanity. That's why the event was foretold by prophets, proclaimed by angels, and taught by Jesus and the apostles. In fact, more Old Testament passages are devoted to Christ's second coming than to His first. And in the New Testament, the Lord mentions His return more frequently than He speaks of His death. The second coming defeats Satan's earthly reign and establishes Christ's kingdom of peace and righteousness in its place. Saints from all the ages will be gathered together to reign with the Lord, and the Heavenly Father wants those of us who are believers to be excited and hopeful about Jesus' return, recognizing it as the culmination of His plan for the world. In order to keep our hope alive, Scripture tells us what to expect, though we don't know the exact timing. Are you eagerly anticipating Christ's return, or do you seldom think about it? The Apostle John warns us not to love the world or the things it contains because they are passing away. Instead, 
we're to long for our Savior's return and rejoice in His coming kingdom.